The point of the study was really to try and get a gauge of exactly what the penetration of tablets are in our industry in terms of the digital media industry from everything from corporates to agencies to publishers. We put a list of questions together in order to understand what people are using their tablets for. Are there actually a penetration in the market that we should be taking or consider taking quite seriously or is it still a bit of a fashion fad? So we found that the biggest uptake in tablets has actually been the publishing industry. They've obviously been migrating a lot of their print magazines to tablets because of the global trend of moving content to a tablet device. It's got massive benefits from firstly eliminating paper which is a huge issue. Obviously print sales are declining and the guys are looking for a market where they where is this money going and it's going into online so people are spending a serious amount of money on online marketing and online advertising. Tablets obviously being online is the next potential market for them to advertise. According to Worldwide Works, they published a results about a year or two ago saying that there was anything between 1.2 1.8 million tablets in the industry currently. So we obviously took that as quite a serious penetration and we've been looking at how have these tablets been used and how they're being worked or how they're being used and who's using them. It is a great avenue for publishers because of course with print sales declining they've got a new avenue where they can have digital and just replicating what they've done with Times Inc and Hearst and Condé Nast and all the major publishers in the world, tablets are a content consumption device. So consuming all of our magazines is basically what they were almost designed to do. It also gives us the ability to interact with consumers. It gives us the ability to send push notifications, to update con content immediately. Um, Articles can be almost a live flowing article where if there's a new update, it just gets published straight to the tablet. So to the publishing industry, tablets have been a huge benefit to them and hopefully potentially saved a lot of the print decline sales. The biggest aspect that's hindered publishers has been the software and the development costs. The software, when initially it came out, was incredibly expensive to try and afford the digital publishing suites or the Twixel publishers or the Mag Plus or the Aquafadis, which are all publishing solutions. Nowadays the cost of that software is coming down rapidly and it's enabling everybody to actually be able to afford to publish all of their content onto tablets. So that's been a huge factor that's benefit to the publishing industry. The only challenge now has been the development costs. So guys are seeing this as well, not only have they got the publishing software, but now they need to physically develop the content inside of that, which is totally different to what they do in the print side. A lot of agencies are developing apps for their customers, um, for their tablets. They're actually designing generally for the smartphone first, then for the web and then for the tablet, which was an interesting trend because we actually thought that it was potentially going to be more tablet, smartphone and then web. So that made an interesting result as well. What they did tell us is that most of those apps are being designed for catalogs and single issue apps as well as your company presentations. Guys are realizing that instead of doing a PowerPoint, we can now create an app. Some of the agencies aren't using publishing software, they're actually using native building software or native coding software, which enables them to physically script and code the apps from scratch. That has got a huge cost to it because it's a huge skill that needs to be involved and those skills are obviously currently quite limited. Tablet penetration in South Africa is a lot bigger than we thought and if companies aren't designing their tools or aren't designing for the tablet, they're going to find themselves left lost or left behind going forward. It is a device that has really changed our industry in pretty much every industry with the ability to now have all of it on your little mini fold-up portable laptop. It sort of blurs the lines between your smartphone, phablets and tablets and allows us to communicate directly with our users.